Hi there Hoopsters, we're in the Camping and Caravan and Club, Cardigan Bay and we're sitting in a ready camp which we've been in for a couple of nights and I thought I'd give you a quick tour around it so you can see what the ready camp's like. Um, we'll also be going on a couple of days out, we're going to go and see my Auntie Hazel who's been living in Wales for about 45 years and also we're going to head down to Pembury Country Park which has got a toboggan slide in it. So let's get started. So we're going to start outside and I'll show you the little veranda area. There's Catherine over there. No, watch my skills. <laughs> Outside the tent we've got a decking area which has got enough room for at least six chairs. There are six chairs provided that are camping chairs that you can bring outside which have been hidden underneath the sofa which brings us onto the sofa area. Bear in mind that we've been here a couple of days so we've got piles of rubbish everywhere and they've got a dining table which again has got six chairs. We've got a double bed in the main bedroom which has got a little wardrobe here and a hanging rail and also which is I think is quite useful these pockets which a lot of tents do have these pockets but we've managed to turn it into a charging station for all work as gadgets and gibbs and those we've had three laptops in these pockets all charging which brings us on to the fact that there is electric in here and also there is lighting so we'll go over to the kids bedroom the kids bedroom has got a single bed on the top it's got a double bed on the bottom and it has also got a pull out mattress on the bottom as that so you've then got enough room for one two three four six people in total the kids have got two lots of rails but we didn't let them have the charging station although it looks like Imogen seems to have snuck her wire in there okay in the kitchen there is an electric hob, a fridge, a microwave, a kettle, a toaster. They give you a water container, which we've used and we've only filled it once. There is also a electric heater, which we've had on for a couple of couple of hours. And that is pretty much everything in here. Well, this seems like a perfect opportunity to show you my fun dicks. Now, when we were at Skegness, we went to the Skegness market, which is at Pleasure Island, and we bought this frying pan. Now, this frying pan was 40 quid, and the guy sold it to us, and I was amazed by it. So, come in the frying pan, I'll show you how I do a fried egg by not frying it. Right, there's no oil in the pan. I'll just pour my egg in there. Obviously, the uh, ready camp has got a bit of an angle on there. So it's gone down to one side of the pan but I've actually got no oil in there at all I'm just gonna let it cook off you can see that it's bubbling up there but because I'm I'm not too worried about having it totally runny top on the egg I'm just gonna flip it over so let's see if I can look at that See that? It just lifts up, no bother at all. Now this is a electric hob in this ready camp. I'm just going to flip it over. Give it a couple of minutes on that side. Is that going to be cooked enough, do you think, Ian? Not an expert on eggs? Me neither. Let's flip that over and see what happens. I know that it's going to still be runny in the middle of the yolk. This is where I burst the yolk open. There's first yolk. Destroyed. Let's flip it onto my toast. I never said I was a good chef, but I'd like to think that I'm good at demonstrating that the, the Fundix pan is pretty clean when I finish. We've loaded the car up and we're ready to go. We're heading off to see my Auntie Hazel, which is one of the main reasons we came to Wales. So let's leave the caravan site and start our journey.
Kiko. You've got to try and match up four cards the same, and then when someone matches up all four cards, you think they grab the court, but then court, but then it's like musical chairs. As soon as one person grabs the court, everybody has to grab the court. Is this from a musical? Wait, what's on M? I have no idea! <laughs> That's it, who got the four? I got the four. Ah, oh, you did it as well. I got three. That's it. Da 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 When I'm on my holidays, I love dressing up to look like a tourist. Always got my camera around my neck and a nice thick jumper. Lovely! 
followed the trail all the way down to the beach and as you can see behind us, you can see the sand dunes which was protecting us from the road but the beach is absolutely amazing. Look at this. The sea is miles out there. How far can we zoom in and it's... Look at that. Probably walk all the way over to that other coastline over there, which is just across the bay. And also, the shells are massive. If you're a shell collector, look at these. But there's a lot of jellyfish also on this beach, which looks quite grim. I don't know if that, I'm assuming that's dead, but every time the sea comes back in, it comes back alive, I don't know. But there's a lot of these washed up against the shore.